Good morning, guys. Today, gym uh, doesn't work till like later this afternoon, so it was nice we got to sleep in a little bit. And but we're gonna get our butts to the gym. Mm. Oliver, where are you? He's rubbing his face. Come into here. The I don't know how mattress. you got up here. You're not allowed on this bed. You yeah. sleep in your oh, own bed. It doesn't look like he's really affected by what you say. Oliver, Oliver, we don't need friggin dog showers <laughs> he's just happy to come sleep. here come here come here and say hello to the vlog Scoot back. do you even listen <laughs> Mister. <laughs> say hello to your to the to, vlog with to your the nation to, with your crusty face <laughs> when his hair gets starts getting this long it is so raggedy like brushing it doesn't do anything. His like mustache is all over. Ollie, look what's that? Look at his face! <laughs> he looks psycho. <laughs> he really is psycho. Let's make some breakfast and get all fueled for the workout. Um yes. I don't know what to say. Get her done. Be entertaining. Let me take a break. Uh, the frig was that? Oliver, look at his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Is he even looking at us? Mm hmm. We're doing a mukbang. We are. We're doing mukbang. <laughs> So guys, I've been wanting to do a mukbang for so long. Like, I'm obsessed with them. I've been watching them every day. I love watching people eat. Hearing the chewing, um, hearing them describe the food, hearing just them chat about nothing and just talk. So, I've been thinking of doing one. I wonder if, like, you'd be interested in it. Like, oh. or if I'd just ruin my channel. But... I would Leave definitely comments below yeah, and let, let us know. Let me know. I would love to do a mukbang maybe. I said let us know. Yeah, I would like to do one with you because when you're <laughs> by yourself, there's less to talk about. I would like to do one with you. And I'm thinking, like I was wondering, should I do a mukbang with a cheat meal or do a mukbang with healthy food? Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> some quinoa in my rice cooker while I go and shower so I'm gonna put about two cups so that I can have some leftovers for tomorrow's lunch or something so two cups of that one and about a half 
And since it's less dense than rice, I'm just gonna put quick rice so it's less time. Okay, so I'm all showered, ready to make lunch. I'm so hungry. Um, and FYI, I'm not going to look presentable at all in this vlog. Like not for one second. So it's ready while I was in the shower. It's just keeping warm now. Mm, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this cool before I put it into my salad. Okay, so now I'm going to make my kale and quinoa salad. Um, I have some kale here, and I also have some leftover chickpeas from yesterday's lunch. And I'm gonna put some of my, my quinoa. And I'm gonna put my tomatoes. I have some spring onion or green onion here. I even have some like peppers, carrots, everything like that, but I just don't feel like it. Like it's always different. I always mix it up with whatever I have. I have some fresh parsley from the garden, so I'll put a little bit of that in there. And I just want to show you guys how I do my lemon vinaigrette because I that's what I mostly dress my salads with, like any kind of salad I make. And um, a lot of you guys ask, oh, you know, how do you, what do you do? So this is what I do. It's really how I dress mostly everything. So I put a little bit of olive oil. Oops. Put a little bit of vinegar. I like white vinegar the best, but it's usually whatever vinegar I have. I then put a little bit of lemon juice. Then I season it with some sea salt, some garlic powder, some black pepper, and some oregano. Whoops. Just mix it up. I wish I had more kale, but I um, used it all yesterday for my salad yesterday. It was so good. And uh, so today I just had just a handful left, so that's why I added in the quinoa. But honestly, kale and quinoa is so good together. Um, I wish I had more groceries because this would be filled with kale and that would be the main ingredient and then the quinoa just tastes so good with it and the chickpeas are the added like this is so jam-packed with protein and fiber it's unbelievable and it's so flavorful guys are you even seeing this i'm so excited Everything just works so well together. It's so good, so flavorful. Oliver, he thinks he's gonna get some. Buddy, I'm sitting at the table today. Mm -mm -mm. Like, it's just so good, like, so many flavors. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that a couple of weeks ago, I, I tried to start whitening my teeth, like getting ready for my wedding, which is now six, six or seven weeks away, like so close. Um, so yeah, I, I got Crest white strips and I put them on, it was fine. You keep them on for like two hours, I was like, like this for two hours and like you start to drool saliva. I was like so uncomfortable, but it was fine. There was no pain. The second I took them off, there was like a throbbing like sensitivity. And if I would like inhale, like suck in any air, like going or, oh my goodness, I would see stars. Like they felt like they were just hanging by a thread. It was, the sensitivity was so bad. I, I they got like, a little bit wider so they worked but honestly the sensitivity wasn't worth it and so I'm not using them anymore um, and if you follow me you know that I bought my scale from Vanity Planet and I saw that they also carry teeth they have like so many products they have this like professional grade teeth whitening kit and I was like okay let me see 
if something different would work. And when I read that you only have to leave it on for 15 minutes, that's what kind of made me feel good about it. So I'm going to try this now. Well, you can see. So my top is much brighter than my bottom. Last couple years, I've just gotten on the green tea bandwagon and blueberries every morning. So I noticed a difference. I've never been a coffee drinker, wine drinker, smoker, so I've always had pretty white teeth and I've never whitened my teeth. But now that I feel like I can tell that they're a little bit more stained, now for my wedding I want to, I want to whiten them. And I was such a waste of money, the crest white strips. Okay, what the heck are these? Okay. So... Okay, so this is what you put, I guess, your, put in your mouth. Oh, this looks very medical. Step one, remove the cap and attach an active mix tip. Oh, oh, that's what these are, active mix tips. Okay. So there's a lot of mixed tips maybe that means that you can get a lot of uses out of this okay dispense whitening gel into the silicone mouth mouthpiece use a third of the syringe for each application use a new active mix tip for each treatment align the silicone mouthpiece with the upper and lower arch of your teeth well, first of all, let me wash this. I'll be right back. I'm so afraid I'm gonna do it wrong. <gasps> I took it off. Guys, I'm a professional. Okay. This, so side up. <gasps> it's coming, guys. Okay, let's do the underneath. Can you even see? I feel like I'm caulking. Oh shit. didn't work I just wasted a whole syringe <sighs> you don't even know how much I hate wasting things I'm gonna wash this and start again I just wasted the whole first syringe because I didn't clip on this applicator tip thing properly So, I don't understand. I guess I didn't tighten it all the way because now this one locked. Yes, both are coming out. Uh, should be okay now. Looks a little bit different. So side up is this way. Mama Mia. Yeah, before it was like completely clear. Now it has a little bit of blue in it. So I did this one right. Okay, so sucks that I didn't. I don't even know how much I'm supposed to put. Trial and error. Oh, well it says a third of the syringe. So this looks like about a third of the syringe. So I think I'm good. 
So I have two more applications on this. I wish I didn't waste the first one. Side up, up. Mm hmm hmm. The first 10 minutes were great. The last five minutes, I was gathering so much spit. So if like, like what I just did was like, let my lip drain it and just dab it. So it's okay if you can like dab it. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised for one 15 minute application. The top ones are really sparkly. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And imagine with some lipstick, like they would, like right now my face is as white as my teeth, so there's not much contrast. But when I have some like, when I have like foundation for my wedding and some lipstick, my, I think my teeth would look really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm excited that it worked and I'm excited it was only 15 minutes because the two hour Crest White Strips, they even have like 30 minute ones, but even that's friggin' long. If you want to try this for yourself, uh, Vanity Planet gave me a discount code that I could share with my family and friends. So if you click the direct link to it in my description bar, you could get 75% off. Yeah, that's what I said, 75%. You didn't even misunderstand me. So, maybe I'll try, maybe I'll do this another application in like two weeks and then I'll do like, Another one a couple days before my wedding or something. Yeah. Done. Oh, there's a little bit more. Um, now I'm just going to do a few loads of laundry. I'm also going to put on Bachelor in Paradise. Yes, I'm one of those people. I love like reality TV. I mean, I'm not going to deny it. So Jim's home, we're gonna eat dinner soon, and I want to tell you that there's no sensitivity on my teeth. It's been several hours, and they feel absolutely fine. I'm so thankful that I found a product that doesn't hurt, like the friggin' Crest White Strips hurt. And yeah, I'm so glad that I can use something for my wedding. So this is my dinner tonight, really simple, just some roasted carrot and potato wedges seasoned with some grapeseed oil, sea salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and oregano. So good. I made like a huge batch in this really big roasting pan and um, hooked them at about like 375 for about an hour slowly. They're so good. You don't need any ketchup, anything. Um, do you like them, Jim? They're really good. I want to eat some more. There's some more. Um, and I usually don't like cooked carrots. Like, I like raw carrots, but these carrots are so tasty, it's like roasted to perfection. A, a slight bite, but the roasting just really brought out their sweetness. Um, I'm gonna get a fork and sit down with my man and eat and enjoy the rest of the evening. So I hope you enjoy spending the day with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one. Bye.